But coming to the stage right now, it is the long-awaited Satya! Everyone, give it up for Bo. And give it up for the lovely ladies at the bar who haven't stopped talking at all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> They might want to start paying attention because no one wants the brown guy to bomb, trust me. <laughs> Speaking from experience. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, well, okay, so clarification before anyone gets too nervous. I'm from India, not from the Middle East. <laughs> Makes me the 7 Eleven kind of brown, not that. <laughs> Important distinction. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I grew up in India. You know what they call the Big Mac in India? Well, to life for blasphemy. Well, years to life for blasphemy. Uh, I've been in Nashville for a few years now. The uh, sometime, some time ago, I ran into uh, James Hetfield, the lead singer for Metallica. Uh, yeah, at a drive-through, he was like at McDonald's or something, and I knew it was him. Because they asked him what combos he wanted, and he went, Give me two, give me five, give me sandwich I desire. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. Also, he was blasting St. Anger, and nobody else listens to St. Anger. Uh, you guys seem like a smart crowd. You know what the Schrodinger's cat is. You know, if you put a cat in a box, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so here's my thought on it. If you put a cat in a box with a zombie virus, is it dead and undead at the same time? <laughs> a smart girl, you guys got it. Uh, any Guardians of the Galaxy fans in here? Yeah, awesome. Uh, I called my wife Drax the other day. She didn't get the reference. <laughs> Apparently you guys either, but... <laughs> Uh, recently, my cousin had a cricket infestation, the insect, not the sport. Uh, and someone was like, oh no, how did that happen? And I'm like, well, poor jokes, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I did grow up in India, but I spent some time in Nepal. Uh, I went there for a little while and then decided to stay a little longer because I like the smell of Nepal in the morning. <laughs> Any, any, any Game of Thrones fans in here? Yeah. It sucks that the new season isn't coming out till next year, but, but I've got some spoilers. Turns out the mountain throws out his back. They're gonna call him the Brokeback Mountain. Again, this is, seems like a smart crowd. You, you must know dinosaurs, right? You guys know what a Velociraptor is? Yeah, some of you know, some of you don't. For those of you who don't know, it's the distance raptor divided by time. Uh, it's a Patrick Divine joke. I'm very proud of writing that. You know what an Oscilloraptor is? It's when the Velociraptor changes over time. You know what they call a king and his harem in France? A royale with chicks, guys. Because of the metric system. It's a pulp fiction joke. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna launch into a little story here. I'll uh, get it off my chest. Recently, some guy in public yelled at me and told me to go back to whichever hellhole I came from. Uh, and uh, my first thought was, I'm not going back to Jersey. <laughs> It's like, it's like being in India, except there's roads. <laughs> well, the traffic's even worse, and there's, just no, there's no point. Uh, now, I didn't say anything, I just smiled and moved on, because he looked like the kind of person who'd be packing heat, and arguing with harm Christians hasn't worked out for my people. <laughs> also, as a general rule, I don't argue with people with more fingers than teeth. <laughs> <laughs> 
so that was kind of a non-starter on that. Uh, but in this imaginary world that I have in my mind where I didn't have to worry about getting shot in the street by some redneck, uh, I also carry a map of the world with me anytime. And someone tells me to go back where I came from, I just open the map and be like, Sir, point out on this map which hellhole you think I came from, and if you get it right, I'll go back. <laughs> Very unlikely that he would get it right in the chance he did point to India, just to the Indian head nod. <laughs> he wouldn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I'm a smart ass, but I'm not a dumbass, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I've got, I've got a couple more jokes, right? I mean, yes. sure. Let's see what else we got. Uh, one of my coworkers, uh, his name is Joseph Reich, like R-E-I-C-H. Sometimes I wonder if his father and his grandfather are the same name. <laughs> <laughs> that would make him the third right <laughs> Nazi jokes guys those are, those are the best uh, more Nazi jokes uh, I'm actually working on a startup uh, I have a startup idea you know how when you're drunk blitz practically from last night and you're just hungover you want breakfast but you don't want to talk to people well I've got the perfect solution for you Waffles delivered by drones. I'm calling them Luftwaffles. <laughs> and for the low, low price of 1939, you get a combo with Polish sausage and freshly squeezed cheese. <laughs> Kind of a little too far, <laughs> but let's. Uh, speaking of Jews, uh, I'm trying to con convince my wife to convert to Judaism because I'm Hindu. And she's like, why? I'm like, simple. That way we could have little Hindus. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to leave you guys. Give it up for Boo, everyone. Thanks for it. Satyam, everybody. Oh, my goodness. On deck, it's Brad Sativa. Huh? Okay, okay, y'all forgot.